IR verbs, or verbs in the third conjugation, verbos iere, o verbos en la tercera conjugación. Infinitivo es un verbo with dos partes, una radical y una terminación. La radical es la primera parte del verbo, y la terminación es la segunda parte del verbo, la parte que cambia. Verbos en la primera conjugación terminan con AR. Ejemplos son hablar. Segunda conjugación, verbos con ER. Y la tercera conjugación, verbos con IR. Ejemplos de verbos en la primera conjugación. Formar, pasar, tratar, resultar y causar. Ejemplos de verbos en la segunda conjugación. Depender, comprender, sorprender, cometer y vender. Verbos en la tercera conjugación. Recibir, describir, confundir, debatir y añadir. Su primera conjugación. Segunda conjugación. And tercera conjugación, which is going to be the focus of the remainder of this lesson. How are we going to conjugate the paradigm of a third conjugation verb, a verb that ends in IR? Let's look at this. We still have the same sujetos. The radical is going to be the same. And the terminaciones, again, are going to be very similar. Yo, vivo, for a word like vivir, ends in IR. I live. Literally, vivir means to live somewhere. So this is I live, yo vivo. You live is... Tú vives, ella vive, and so far you can see that the third conjugation verb and the second conjugation verbs have the same endings, o, es, a. They'll be different on the next two, however. Nosotros, we live, is going to be nosotros, vivimos, I am os, vosotros, vivís, is, and ellas viven. The difference in the ER and the IR, or the second and the third conjugation verbs, are going to be the I on nosotros, vivimos, and vosotros, vivís. So here, if you have an IR verb, the accent is over the I in vivís. Another verb that ends in IR, so you can see the endings in another third conjugation verb, yo, recibo, tú, recibes, ella, Recibe, nosotros recibimos, vosotros recibís, ellas reciben, o, es, e, imos, is, en. Dos de terminaciones for verbos en la tercera conjugación. Now you have a practice one, I'm going to give you the subjects in English. And the verb is debatir, to debate, I debate, you debate. She debates, we debate, y'all, and they debate. Take this verb, and in the next 20 seconds, give me the Espanol for the sujeto and for the verbo. You should have, yo debato, tú debates, ella debate, nosotros debatimos, Vosotros debatís, and ellos debaten. Hablar, comer, and vivir, these are the three key example verbs that represent the columns of verbs in the AR, ER, and IR, or the first, second, and third conjugation verbs. This is a list of first conjugation verbs, second conjugation verbs, and third conjugation verbs. The endings on ARs are O, AS, a, amos, ais, and an. Notice the accent for an ar verb is over the a and ais. The endings for an er verb, o, es, a, amos, ais, and n. The accent is over the e and ais. And the endings for an ir verb are o, es, a, imos. The difference is the e. 
is and en. These are verbs in the present tense, and el presente, these are the endings in the present tense. And if you were to take hablar and conjugate it all the way through, you would have hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablais, and hablan, I speak, you speak, she speaks, we speak, y'all speak, and they speak. Comer goes to como, comes, come, comemos, coméis, and comen. Vivir becomes vivo, vives, vive, vivimos, vivis, and viven. Those are the three paradigms, the three paradigmas for the AR verbs, ER verbs, and the IR verbs. Those are the verbs fully conjugated into the entire paradigma. Notice that the ERs and the IRs are identical except for emos and is. And those are our verbs for AR, ER, and IR. That completes the three lessons for how you conjugate the three different kind of verb endings that we have in Spanish, the ARs, ERs, and IRs. And that's the end of the lesson for IR, as well as the ARs and ERs. Verbos IR, or verbos en la tercera conjugación.